This is. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't stop laughing. Some dude, we um, we went in the back and forth on comments in one of the Hunter Hunter and a couple other videos, I believe. But it was definitely the Hunter Hunter yeah. stuff. Um, revisited our entire channel and <laughs> emergency revisited. Emergency revisited. Let's watch it. How did you find this video? He he tagged me. Oh, word. On Twitter. Okay. He, on Twitter. That's good. Then he's not a coward. Yeah, yeah. I, I I would really hate for people to just be like, I'm not doing... And he said this is the first in a series of videos. Yeah, I can show you the uh, Twitter real quick. He, I, it's no point in giving out his Twitter because I don't know if he wants to... I doubt people would attack him, but you know, you never know. People are crazy. Um... Uh, this dude, see, wanted to make a second channel on reviewing content creators on YouTube, made a review on a list exists as the kicking start of the content I'll be creating. And then he put one piece fans are the types of fans that will look at a piece of art and try to determine what the artist was trying to convey based on the brush strokes. This is no, no. This is what I said about Hunter Hunter or one of us said about Hunter Hunter. And he's trying to say. He's trying to flip it as One Piece. Um, that's what I would be saying to One Piece fans as well, since they make analysis videos at the same degree as Hunter Hunter fans. So that's what I said about Hunter Hunter fans. They would try to look at the brush strokes. Um, One Piece fans wouldn't try to determine the brush strokes. They'll see the art and go, "Wow, this is fantastic art!" And then they'll notice like a star in the in corner mm-hmm. that relates to like some dog on the ground, a twinkle in his eye, or something. Or maybe like, where is this going? Mm-hmm. As opposed to just looking at it like, what is he trying to convey? Because it's like, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off. It's like um, when Hal was painting in the garage in Malcolm in the Middle. Mm-hmm. And everybody's just like, okay, well, it's looking all right now. And then it's just that final bit. And it's just like, whoa. So um, let's just watch. It. We watched a little bit of it. We were not going to do anything on it. And then we were like, yes, let's do something on it. Dude, I got a huge smile on my face. This is hilarious to me. This is absolutely hilarious to me. So let's watch it. Oh, wait, there's no video. Oh, it's way in the corner for some reason. I must have um messed up on some settings. Oh, yeah, definitely. Damn. You're too hyped about this. Too hyped. Oh, that's why it scrolled when I scrolled instead of going off of it. Let's try that again. Well, it's, you're not, it's, you didn't miss it. Today. It's just a warning. Hold up, let's text on the screen. Let's see what it says. This is my personal opinion towards something. If you're having a hard time processing to respect an opinion, then I highly recommend you to leave the video and go. But you're not respecting our opinion. I mean, yeah, he's really not. Because he didn't leave the video and just go. Yeah, no. He kept trying to go at mm-hmm. us. And then he went so at us so hard, he created a new YouTube channel to further go at us. So, also, I highly re- recommend you to leave the video and go. Wouldn't they have left the video with leave the I video do, and do, no do, longer do, do, do. need to go? Might not be an entirely native English speaker. Uh, you know what? You are absolutely correct. There's a channel called They Lists Exists and I decided to binge watch all of their videos, which all of them took literally... Wait, they rewatched all of our videos? Our videos, which all of them. Hold on, I gotta. I don't. I don't see the point of the the robotic voice thing. I'm, I've never liked that. Um, I, I feel like um, people want to put their opinion out there, but they don't really like to put themselves out there. If that makes okay, any sense. Okay, then you don't get to uh, talk about how you got a nerdy voice. I was bring I was gonna bring that up. Yeah, That's... it's hard to rag because uh, well, we'll get into it when he gets there. But yeah, it's hard to rag on somebody's voice when you are not willing to put your own out there. No, I can understand if you don't have a mic or something, but it's twenty twenty. It's and it, you got a computer. Ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, you you can get a. I, I know my voice sounds terrible on this Mister Microphone microphone, but. It lists exists and I decided to binge watch all of their videos, which all of them took literally 34 hours of my entire fucking month. I had- Wow, he- they- I, I don't know if it's he or she. They really watched all of our videos. It's good content. <laughs> I would. Like I said before. What do you mean would? Content. I have. 
this is the kind of stuff, if I stumbled upon it, I'd be drinking this crap up. Yes, I, I make this, we make this for us. I mean, there's obviously the Phil stuff where it's just like, you guys are not going to get it if you don't know Phil. That's literally for us. But like this, the anime stuff, anybody that doesn't really like Hunter Hunter can watch that and enjoy it. And even people that do like Hunter Hunter, um, there's people in the, um, is Deus Ex, uh, is, um, Gold Experience Requiem a Deus Ex. Like, I don't really agree with you guys, but you, you made some good points. Okay, you yeah. got something out of it, even if you don't like what we said. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm and plus this is, I, this is very easy content to just throw in the background while you're grinding on like a JRPG or something. Mm-hmm. Come to the conclusion that this channel is a little underwhelming. This is my opinion towards this. Okay, what um our, our the channel as a whole right now is only like um reactionary stuff. It's just re stuff. What whelms you in the re arena? Yeah, I would I, really I, like I, you to it, link a channel to be like, this is what they should be yeah, doing. Reaction style sort of thing. Um, cause most reaction channels are just that they're just sitting there going, ha ha, that's funny. Blah, blah, blah. We're, we're analyzing this stuff, trying to make things better, figuring out where people are coming from. We're doing quite a lot with the channel. I don't, I don't understand the, the underwhelming thing. I can understand if they said that it's not to my taste or something, but underwhelming is a very quantifiable thing that you need to explain. And, uh, on top of that, there are channels out there that are like ours that will pause it and try to talk to it. And it was somebody that tried to, uh, that made a video against Maga comment, like Maga comment and Spit do not understand Persona 5 combat. And I listened to, it was like two hours long, and I, I listened to, I think, an hour and two minutes. How? And it was really dry, dude. How? It was really dry and really, because the problem with that person was they weren't able to really articulate their points. They just went, in. Is, is this EMS or whatever? I don't remember the exact words they use, mm-hmm. but just imagine they use EMS like 12 times to describe one thing. And it's just like, you're not really telling me why, you're just telling me it's E and it's a mess. But that's that's also the benefit of two people. Uh, while you're talking, I can formulate my thoughts while you're blah, blah, blah. Speaking. And plus, I, I might bring something up you didn't think about and it might allow this whole yeah. like tangent thing. Yeah, I, I, I highly recommend scripted content for just one person. Um, the, people are able to just riff by themselves and stuff, but uh, you're you're you might it's, miss. It'd be a thing. lot harder and a lot. Mm-hmm. I think it's a lot less entertaining. If anything that I look for, I'm like, give me two people or more, just so you mm-hmm. can bounce off us people. It, it's a lot better than just one person just speaking their opinion because sometimes we can disagree and agree and further each other's points and all that stuff. Yeah, it, it, something comes of it. As opposed to just somebody, I can't do one person podcast. I'm yeah, sorry, I can't. I just one can't. person podcast. I'm outside of VTubers. I'm not one person gameplay videos. What are you talking like about, that. Phil? I don't watch Phil. Yes, you do. Roughly, <laughs> not the way that you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> but is there no in, any wrong way to watch Phil these days? Exactly. According to him, there is. Yeah, if you're not giving them money. <laughs> Channel, and just to warn you, random people who've appeared out of nowhere to immediately dislike this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he zoom out and then have to scroll down on the some, to get rid of the people, black at people, the bottom? Some people are not the best editors. I understand true. that, but you you have a dumpster writing up a thing, which is representative of either you or our content <laughs> but you can't the people who've appeared out of nowhere to immediately dislike this video i do not hate this channel i don't even dislike the content okay here's the thing um there aren't going to be swards of people disliking this content because we don't have rabbit fans we don't yeah. we don't really we have fans but they're not so ridiculous where it's just mm-hmm. like this anything against us is going to be a thumbs down uh anything negative against hunter hunter regardless if, if you watch it or not thumbs down and that's the way it goes people watch our content and they go oh they're speaking out against part five and i love part five thumbs down and people even, watch seven minutes and go thumb down. Even if we did have rabbit fans like that, our entire channel is predicated on listening to people's points in its entirety. Why would they just drop a thumb down and peace out without listening to what you have to say? Haters at all. 
In fact, I have come to appreciate some of the work they put into each of these videos and how much fun they put into it. Pause. Now, it's not really work. <laughs> it's it's not a, it's not a lot. It's um it's work in that we're speaking almost nonstop for about three hours. Uh, but other people do more. And yeah, I'll say that the uh, the part five video that we're that's upcoming. I don't know when this is coming out, but the part five. Oh, this was coming tonight. Okay, yeah, the part five video. That's uh, that one was work. <laughs> <laughs> now, which one? <laughs> that one, the everything. Great. No, that was physical effort. <laughs> to not just X out of that boy. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a fun one. Uh, yeah, this isn't this is stupid fun for us. You know, you 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 said that it the content we're creating is fun. It's because we're having fun. Yeah. This is very fun for us. Now you might hear us get really angry and yell and scream and stuff, and even that's fun for us. This it, is just fun. It's just us talking about stuff. We did this before revisit it. Mm -hmm. It's all it's just us talking and discussing stuff that we like and dislike. That's all it is. And it's just a filter. In people's opinions and videos, it's a filter that we can just unleash our stuff mm -hmm. on. We can create uh twenty part five videos. Or we can just look at a creator what they what because uh, to us the YouTubers the people that we um, revisit and stuff they're um, they're putting out the opinions of the masses because so many times I'll hear a lot of the arguments that an Oceanus or a Nux will present and it'll be regurgitated in either our comment sections or on forums or on Reddit and it's the same argument so it's just a vehicle for us to counter the arguments we hear so many times. There are some pros and cons about this channel that I think they personally contain. Some videos that they make are really, really awesome, whilst the majority of them are pretty bad. So oh. first, I'll... What's, what's the difference between the Phil one and the pretty bad ones? I don't think the Phil stuff is a masterpiece, outside of that's probably the most fun that we've I had. I was just about to say, that's probably the reason it's a masterpiece. There is... It oozes fun! Yeah. Because... Feel slowly turning towards the camera is a moment I go to <laughs> so many times just to watch and rewatch, and it's so <laughs> hilarious to me. He turns so slowly, and we're just ragging on the for it that he looks like a, a robot. That's so much fun. As far as masterpiece, I would say the closest thing we've done to a masterpiece is honestly the um the Deus Ex one. Um, if it's not a day of say, because we had a lot of, um, it was some good jokes in there. It was a lot of analy uh, analytical stuff based on their video. And it was a lot of good points to counter the things that they were mm -hmm. saying. As far as like, um, the one video and it was only one video. So it's self-contained. So as far as the one video, I would recommend people to check out. It would be that one. If I were to say anything. You? Uh, probably yeah, the Phil stuff. <laughs> it's so probably, good. But that's that's a hard barrier of entry. I'd have to look at our stuff going back. Off of some fair criticisms towards the channel, and then I'll wrap this video up with some pros that a list exists to have. Okay, very majority of their revisit content are uncomprehensible. Um, I don't believe so. I don't believe there's anything we create we have ever created where we're just like you don't understand what we're talking about. Yeah, all the people get their all their points out. We play the videos in their entirety. Most of the, I think if anything, it's just like we pause in the middle of people's sentences. But there are times when we go wait, let's hear all of his full point. And there's times that we rewind and everything to try to get the full point. It, it's I think it's very comprehensive. So that's me when we. We'll hear something and we'll repeat back what their point was mm -hmm. just to try to get it into our mind what exactly it is. It's even furthered when um, one of us doesn't comprehend what uh, they said and then we try to work it out together or the other person mm -hmm. tells them. So I don't think anything we've done is incomprehensible either through... Now, uh, we have had some creators that have made some arguments where we're just like, I don't know what the f they're yeah. talking about. But that's not really our content. That's just their content and us reacting to mm -hmm. not understanding their content. To take note, as a revisit channel, half of your videos are supposed to be understandable for the audience to catch the drift towards what content you're going to revisit on. 
Yet half of your videos that you tend to revisit on are uncomprehensible to say the least. Most of your revisit videos are on other YouTubers who give their own opinion towards what they think, and I'm not going to state that you should debate on their opinions, I mean, all opinions are debatable, whether it's positive or not. The problem here is that you're revisiting other content that are just plain confusing and irrational. For example, okay, so our uh, is the stuff we're doing uncomprehensible and irrational, or are is the content that they put out confusing and irrational? And we shouldn't be doing that. We should be sticking to more comprehensive um, analysis from YouTubers. Okay, let's hit them. Uh, the DBZ, the impact of Dragon Ball. He explains quite clearly what the impact of Dragon Ball is to anime and manga as a whole. That's pretty self-explanatory. And we mostly agree with it. Um, yeah. Just mo some. We just say it, the, there are other things that are better, like One Piece. Uh, the brilliance of Golden Wind. He explained why it's brilliant. And if he does not give his point across quite clearly, that's his own problem. Uh, why you should watch part five? He gives reasons why we should watch part five, mm -hmm. and we disagree. What happened to yeah? But G the whole friendship and stuff. Yeah, it's like it, that's for every yeah. part. What's the point? What happened to GT? Nothing. <laughs> that was the point. Yeah, it, it was a personal thing. So it, it was both uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf's point and our point that nothing really happened. It's always been a fairly all right show that people hated because it wasn't more like the Dragon Ball they already knew. Stampede, they were in, uninterested in it. And they slagged it off. Yeah, what? They weren't paying attention. They got stuff wrong. And they were just like, it's, uh, it's uninterested. And we compared it to the Broly stuff, which, you know. Um, the ReZero is a masterpiece. Oof. I, I still don't understand why he believes it's a yeah. masterpiece. The only thing I can get from it is um, it's one of the most realized fantasy worlds in his opinion, and he likes the characters. Beyond that, I can't really tell you why he believes it's a masterpiece. That's absolutely incomprehensible. The part five Nux video, he explained, he, he explained fate in JoJo. What was incomprehensible about that? Uh, all this stuff is just is is laid there, and we respond to it. It's 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 pretty straightforward. It's not like I, I don't I don't understand this point. This is this is this all... incomprehensible. Yes. <laughs> Plain confusing and irrational. For example, these ones. However, they're probably going to make a video revisiting this video I made for the benefit over what I thought of this channel. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Now. This is like some um, reverse psychology or some, I, I, don't, I don't know the exact terminology for it, where it's just like, um, you're trying to back us into a corner to not do it by going, they're probably going to do mm -hmm. it. And absolutely, more content for the channel. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to hurt. It, at worst, it's seven views, and the seven views is me seven times. <laughs> I don't, I, legitimately. I do not care about getting views on this channel. I make content that I like, and I like doing this right yeah. now. So whatever. If we if we cared about views, we'd be hitting like Sword Art Online and 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 the mad popular stuff to hate, just so people would gravitate to the channel more. But we're we're hitting Hunter Hunter, a beloved series, and Dragon Ball and crap like that. Persona Five got us our most heat ever, and right after that, we did Re Zero, <laughs> which is on fire now since number one is beloved and number two the season two just came out and it's like well whatever yeah so it like, wumps it, it's terrible and you know again if we if we cared about this stuff we will also be doing the like subscribe comment stuff yeah. and no people comment when they want people like when they want people dislike when they want people subscribe when they want people whatever. flag when they want whatever they might pause the video and state, well, that's another story. Yet one of your series is outside the boundaries of communicating something that's clearly non-fictional. Okay. First off, this channel is not about 
doing non-fictional yeah, things and not. revisiting it. No. It's just talking about stuff that we want to critique or whatever. Yeah, stuff that we want to talk about. Second off, we per- we have said that video is for us. If mm-hmm. you get something out of it, cool for you. That we, is for us. We sat down and just talked about Phil as he's talking just so much. Yeah. Somebody and, even, wait, are you guys going to make more Phil content? Absolutely in the future someday. He, he gave us suggestions and everything. Yeah. I love Phil. But the thing about Phil is that video is also non, uh, and that video is absolutely fiction. Because he, he lies. lies so much. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of counter your point because he's such a liar. That, that fuck is fiction. He legitimately <laughs> said, I never said I would slap an 11 year old well, girl. That's just a lie. <laughs> And we played on the f- video him literally saying, I would have pimp slapped this sh- out of her. In real life. And that one particular is the only thing I find that surprisingly really great that this channel has to offer. Yeah. I believe you think is something great because we're not analyzing, um... We're not counter analyzing anything. We're not. We're not saying that people's opinions are wrong, mm-hmm. which we do a lot. We're just calling out a man for lying, <laughs> and it's way and different from someone going, um, "Fate is this and that," and we're going, "Absolutely no, no, not." It's, it's not because of this, this, and this. We're just going, "Well, that's not the sequence of events, Phil." <laughs> Yet somehow I felt like the channel just overall lost potential as it got on. What potential? What potential? Um, what potential did we have that we no longer have? Day one, we've been the same. Mm-hmm. Outside of the the whole gin lock and um, ain't no breaks things like that, and a couple other ones that that's coming out, mm-hmm. we've been the same. I don't I don't understand stuff. We we talk about stuff. It's not like I, I don't. It's, What's the potential that we had? It's not like we had little videos of ourselves in the corner. Then we just took that away. I was like, well, that that really added to the content, you guys. You shouldn't have taken that out. And he's like, well, no. Yeah. Um. Since the Oceanus video, I don't really know. Um. Our views have been mostly consistent, and recently they've gone up overall per video. I don't know what potential was squat, and it's not like, um we've sold out in some way. Yeah. Like, we're just like, uh, let's not do that video because no, people might not big. like it. They, yeah. We might get just like, no. We just did Mother big. Basement and Giga. Like, <laughs> whatever. People. I don't, we don't yeah, care. No. I... Anyway, um, hard to be taken seriously. Um, you shouldn't take us seriously. We're, it's, we're having fun talking about anime yeah people we're talking about people talking about anime i'd okay dude. we're not saying that we're right or anything we're just going here's our opinions here's you say this thing well we don't necessarily agree with it here is a counter mm-hmm. like we had a whole spiel of batman beating women <laughs> why why are you don't take us seriously we're not we're not here to be like some oxford boy yeah no like one of those boring hunter hunter and yeah and kill their friendship was fractured that's something that was meant to be taken serious there was nary a joke in that entire thing mm-hmm. we're constantly cracking wise and that's why that's why halfway through the part five stuff i'm like this isn't fun because we're not making jokes mm-hmm yeah, we were just pausing and just going, oh, this is horrible. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I can't get over the fact that one of the guys running this channel has one of the nerdiest voices I have ever heard from an African-American. If hey, you- that's me. BG, Albert, Comp Bros, whatever you want to call I me. I hope so. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I have personally said during your visits, I think my voice is horrible. I have no problem with that. You'll find very few people in this world that likes the sound of their own voice. Mm, yeah, I, I would say the same. Um, but yeah, so? Yeah, I mean... Should you not take somebody seriously just because they have a horrible voice? Yeah. I mean, I I think the rapper Freeway has a horrible voice. I think he's a good lyricist, but I, f- I hate his voice. Um, I'm not a big fan of Big Sean's voice. 
Whatever. Um, yeah. Um, and like we said before, you can't really rag on my voice if you're not willing to put your own out there. That's just why. And like we were talking about before this, a lot of people say that we have a very similar voice. Mine is a bit deeper and a bit slower. But other than that, I've, I've, there have been times where I'm listening and I was like, did I say that or did you say that? Mm-hmm. And what's funny is I don't hear that because I can point out both our voices. There there are certain times where I'm like, <laughs> wait a second. Yeah, when we were doing and the... And we'll laugh and I'm like, okay, that's me. We were doing the uh, Danganronpa a list exists and you were like, there are many times throughout that that I just do not know yeah, who's talking. I'm lost. And I'm like, <laughs> really? Like... Maybe it's just because I can pick out my own voice because I dislike it so much. Watch their videos. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, this man sounds like Steve Urkel in his early 20s. And um, Urkel was in his 30s when he was doing Urkel. I, but the character wasn't. <laughs> I guess so. Um, And we've seen what Urkel in his 20s would be. It would be Steve Urkel. Stefan Urkel. Stefan Urkel. Thank you. Get that right, you freaking nerdy voice, Urkel (laughs) motherfucker. I'm carrying this mug with my smooth voice. Thing is that you're supposed to take the sounds escaping from his lungs seriously as a commentary. Mm, Not really. Nope. Um, there and there's plenty of people whose voices are abject trash. It doesn't matter. Take them seriously or not. Um. Um, just a robot. His voice is, he's a commentary channel. Uh-huh. He, he has a robot filter because his voice is awful. <laughs> he has a real bad voice. And I'm sure he'll say that himself. I think he said it before himself, but it, it's it's a really bad voice. But should you take him less seriously? Absolutely not. If, um, if you're just like, this is just so grating, I can't listen to it. Yeah, well, that's different. That's, that's, that's a whole nother thing. Um, I'll say this. Is the content that I'm saying any less true because my voice is horrendous? And if the answer is no, then yes, take what I say seriously. Not seriously, but... Don't disregard it. Don't disregard it. There you go. Escaping from his lungs seriously as a commentary channel. In all honesty, though, his voice is so ridiculous for someone running a community channel. I just... Oh, you had to fix commentary. (laughs) I wish you would have complimented me. (laughs) (laughs) The other guy, though. The other guy. Double. You know what? You might be in pros. You know what? I might be. (laughs) Not take that person seriously at all. And imagine that voice being repeatedly overheard in more than 76 videos that take more than an hour. That your ass wrinkles would be popped. We've done over 76 hours of revisited? I think he said 76 videos. Earlier, he said, I think he 38 or 48 video, uh, 48 hours, 38, 48 hours. 34 hours, yeah. Yeah, but 76 videos we've done. Fucking face. Comments I've made. I made a bunch of comments for some of the videos they made, and they have responded. And so I would like to read them with you and highlight some changes depending on the comments I've made on them. When a certain comment decided to state the exact same thing I come across from one of their videos, I decided to comment as a helpful reminder of what the you don't have to scream every time, actually referred to as. Whoa, that was that quick. Was way too fast. Okay, yeah, Um, we're not going to read all this. If go, feel... go back to the first one. I want to see the, that first one. I don't know if I can pause it quick yeah, enough. Can. Yes. Oh, okay. Booyah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Do read you it. You don't have to scream every time. Well, and it's you said straight up we don't scream every time. Mm-hmm. And then this dude, is it's like, well, what, what, what is this comment? This isn't constructive. This isn't. This isn't anything. You're just going. You're just making fun of us for not liking a video. And then I, I respond. It's it's like, what what's the that dude. <laughs> There it goes. Bye yeah, bye. Uh, yeah. Just pause <laughs> as you see fit to. But yeah, to read I, those. I remember. I remember homeboys' comments because we like to re- respond to at least most of the negative points. Um, we've been getting a little bit better of just responding to people going, "Hey, this video sucks," and we're like, "Yes, it does, sir. Uh, see if it is a bum. Peace <laughs> out." 
but uh, most of the negative stuff because people take the time to just go hey i disagree with you about this this and this i think that we owe it to them to go okay here's our point on your points and if they want to respond back then we will uh we've gone real deep into those sorts of things and we will continue to and like i said i remember this dude and i remember just thinking like wow these are pretty bad points Yeah, sure. A million of people just gone ignore the fact that he has only and, and, and like one of the points was just something like you guys is like the dislike ratio is so bad because you're doing bad content or something like that. Something that affected that. And I'm like, we don't care. Yeah, on top of not caring, it's only because of the content we're actually yeah. doing. Because you look at the Persona 5 stuff and you see the like to dislike ratio is so much higher because Fit is just dumb with his analysis of Persona 5, and there's a lot of people that agree with that, so they're like, hey, these guys are calling out his dumbness. But something like Hunter Hunter, where it's almost universally beloved, of course people are going to say, oh, this, uh, uh, the brilliance of, go- of of Hunter Hunter revisited, and then they listen like five seconds, and they go, yo, Hunter Hunter sucks. Of course they're going to drop a dislike and leave if they don't want, if they don't want their opinions or... or or um, opinions of Hunter Hunter challenge. If they just went like, I like Hunter Hunter, and I'm going to continue to like Hunter Hunter. These people don't like Hunter Hunter, so peace out, dislike. Of course, they're going to do that. See, that's and the difference. That's their own thing. That's the difference with a lot of people. People don't like their opinion to be challenged. I I love my stuff. Yeah, being absolutely. Challenged. I love to go back and forth with people. I love a debate. A lot of people don't want to hear, "Hey, Hunter Hunter, real bad." Yeah. They just want to go, oh, it is a masterpiece. Thumbs up. Because yeah. if you hear, no, it's not. It actually sucks balls. Thumbs down. I don't want to hear that. Bye. So I mean, I made an entire panel that was just like, uh, fairy tale is is objectively the worst show that ever. And I and something that I re- realized about that, I, we we constantly talk about how videos just go positive, 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 and then peace out and don't talk about the negatives. I talked about the positives at the end of that panel. Mm-hmm. I remember that, and I was just like, wow, I actually did that. That was, that was super cool of me. Put that in the pros. <laughs> and plus, the videos on Hunter x Hunter and the criticisms you make for it are really illogical, and it's come to the interpretation that you haven't even watched the show or read the manga at all. We have watched the show. Yeah, um, uh, there's... Illogical. There's, there's illogical. That's, that's not correct at all now in the um in the persona 5 video there are a lot of mistakes that we made because mm-hmm. we we weren't we don't have the the advantages of manga comment of just going hey we can play the game or watch a couple clips and see exactly what the context is or and things of that nature we have to go off of our memories and it's a long game uh you had it's played a long it. video you it's a long video as well you hadn't played uh, persona royal you only played persona 5 two years ago mm-hmm. i played royal but it was just like some things i was like yep yep i got it i got it so yeah those things were inaccurate but stuff like hunter hunter i think that's pretty spot on for the knowledge that we have mm-hmm. so and like, the knowledge we have is end of anime yeah and re-zero same thing we we are knowledgeable up until the anime what the we end watched, of season one yeah i mean and um as far as illogical that would mean we will I feel it's more illogical some of the arguments that are presented to us, like the friendship thing and um, and I patch was why you should watch part five. That's just illogical to me because it's in everything else or Oceanus stuff. It's like or especially Nux Taco or, or stuff. Nux just going chicka <laughs> chicka cares about more, the village more than anybody else. Uh, based on what? Like yeah. that's ridiculous. We, we we cite our stuff. We go, oh, in episode, not not exactly in episode, blah, blah, blah. But we go, when Gon did this, 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 and this. We mm-hmm. don't just go, Gon is a caring person. Peace out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they, they, he deconstructed Gon to build up Killua. And it's like, Gon wasn't really deconstructed. He just lost, um, he just lost his, he just lost his, uh, I don't know what I'm looking for here. Uh, but he just got stupid angry. Ir- irrationally angry, no less. Now, I've even presented in, um, a scenario that would really help me in that scene because we have um, we have footage of a hunter going crazy because of Pito's knee and he just lost mm-hmm. his in mind. And if it was like gone lost his in mind because of Pito, that would make a lot more sense than just going, I'm super sad because Kite. 
And we do that a lot. And we 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 do that a lot where we go, this would be better to do this. And we ragged on Siva for not doing that. Just going, uh, Futaba sucks. And that's, that's the end of his argument. Mm-hmm. Um, on top of that, it's really illogical to point out how something is illogical and not tell how it's illogical. Yeah. So I really hope that you say why what we were saying was illogical as opposed to just going, they say a lot of illogical things. This might be another note from another revisit video on another content creator, but the critique. Nen is interesting and all, but the limitations of Nen are only shown by the main character. Gone, that's it. First off, Gone is not... We have never said that. Yes, exactly. We have never once said that. There's a bunch of Nen limitations. I think we said that it doesn't make any sense. I don't don't think that we've ever said that it's only shown off by Gone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need a timestamp on that one. I don't even think we've said that the limitations themselves don't make any sense. I think we've said that contracts don't make any sense, the things that they put limits on themselves, because Mm -hmm. who are the contracts with and how do you initiate the contract? I think we said stuff like that. Not only the main character has limits and it makes yeah. no sense. Like, I, we have never said Absolutely anything like not. that. On that's it. First off, Gon is not even focused on the majority of the arc in Hunter x Hunters, such as the York New City arc. Okay. I don't care that he's yeah. not focused on. That's, that does doesn't that, counter our point. Does that counter what we said? Absolutely not. That doesn't. There, there's no point to bring that up. So, like... What are you talking about? Succession arc and the Dark Continent arc. And second of all, the characters that are focused on those arcs hell, even the villain of the series, Hisoka, show their limitations and highest consequences through being an end user. No. Oh, what limitations does Hisoka show? None. Um, the limitations, they absolutely show uh, limitations, like Karabika not being able to do such and such. Yeah, um, Lion Dude, you need to, like, hold on to his hand and say yeah. that you helped him and some crap like that. There's so much work yeah. involved. Yeah, no, we never said that it's it's only gone. I don't know where you're getting that from. I don't know if you misheard us during the whole your whole binge session or something. But no, that was never and and if it was, you probably should have commented that in and, whatever yeah, we so said. So we it. can clarify or something. Cuz we have never said yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's And no. he said something after that that I really wanted to even the villain of the series, Hisoka, showed their limitations and highest consequences. Consequences. Nobody has ever shown consequences of their name except Gone. And that's just straight facts. Yeah, you can go through your head right now. Yeah, I'm going. I'm Keep going. going. Keep going. You're not going to find anybody that has a consequence based on their name except uh, Gone. Are we talking about consequences to them? As in, yes. Okay. That's that's killer was little sister Mm-mm. out the gate. Um, oh boy! Legitimately, nobody. I'm sure a hunter hunter head could. Cheeto. What consequence did he have? He can't use it anymore. That's because he lost. Oh boy. Yeah, if he right. would have like I, I use this ability and then I lose my eyesight. Yeah, there's nothing like that, dude. I'm sure there's something. <laughs> I, okay, I, I, I'm sure some hunter hunter head mm. is just they they We're will already know it. type it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> homeboy probably type it. Um, the way I look at it is, out of the hundred and some odd episodes, even if it's only two times, that's not enough to go. That there's consequences to this. Legitimately, I don't remember a single consequence of a person using their knee and going, this is affecting me in X way every time I Biscuit. use it. Biscuit! What was that She doesn't like her buff form. That's not a consequence. I don't... If she was hashtag body positive, <laughs> she would be out here in these streets in her strongest form. Like... <laughs> So no, I know I am legit. I I think it's literally but, only going. But the freaking hunter hunter, not the hunter. The ant arc is just like a a mush, a <laughs> mishmash of just. And I'll further that because even gone just using his near was not a consequence. It was a specific type of near, which is called a restriction of near. Mm-hmm. 
And that's why, that's the only reason he got the consequences of no longer ever being able to use Nia. Other than that, who who got consequences? Who, who out here like, oh my God, every time I use this, I lose an arm. Now, there is a character in Flame of Record who, you've talked about this, every time he uses his weapon, he loses something. His feeling... Proportionate to what he took away. His, he swipes his sword and it's like, if it's a bullet coming towards him, he swipes it away, but he loses a pint of blood. Yeah. So he's lost, he lost his feelings. He lost his mom, eyesight, whatever, whatever. That's the, that's consequences of such a powerful weapon. That's what we're talking about. There are really no consequences in Hunter x Hunter. And I'm tired of people saying this because it, it's really not shown. Even when, even limitations can be moved because people go, yes. I, I had this limit, Crollo. but I, Crollo just goes, I used to be able to only hold it with one hand, but now I can just. No, I need to hold it with both hands, but now I can just hold it with one hand because if I have a bookmark. But there's other limitations due to the bookmark, but he never shows it off. And that's like, well, so you just gained the ability to use a whole other hand, and you have limitations, but they're not shown. So it's it's a complete net positive until we see those limitations. So I don't... Ahsoka showed her limitations and highest consequences through being an end user. So that critique is not even a disagreement. It's just false right off the bat. Okay. Um, on top of this, we've done, what, three hours of Hunter Hunter content? And what you have is, there actually are users that have consequences and limitations of their near. And that's your entire critique of our three hours of Hunter Hunter content that you disagree with? Dang it! What, you really going through the who yeah. has consequences on their knee? Bro, never, I'm telling you, whatever. it's not happening. Never. Yeah, go through that character <laughs> list. Have fun. It's just false right off the bat. However, I don't want to make a gargantuan amount of lists where most of the criticisms you made for the series are ultimately wrong, as I am right now being completely upfront too lazy to do so. Well, the mark, what are most... we outright wrong about? Yeah, which we just explained. Yes. Because either, because on the first point, you completely were just wrong with what we said because we never said those things. And on the second point, we explained ourselves, and I believe we are correct in that. Yeah, and heaven forbid if the Dark Continent arc as new information. meaning information to Nen freaking four or five arcs after it's introduced, and we don't know about that. Well, we only know what we know, so... It, 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 we, we're going off the information that was given to us in the anime because I'm not going into the dark continent. No I will crap. someday. But uh, we very well may be wrong, but we believe we are right based on everything yeah. we know. Like, um, you get you making the analogy of people thinking the earth flat and they knew it was right until they got more information. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not still out here going the earth is flat. We have the inf new information and we're like, yes, okay, it's round or it's a sphere. And um, you're basically saying, well, they're just still saying the earth is flat. Yeah. But, no. Uh, episode 100, well, you can only eat one devil fruit. And knowing, not knowing that Blackbeard did that, we're right that you can only eat that devil fruit based upon what we know. One piece hasn't been found yet. Well, you can't say that because Oda has it in his mind and he might have even sketched it out already. So it, it exists. So are we all just wrong? That's no. Even though I don't know if this is your point that we're wrong because of information coming in the future, but based upon you, you need to give some information about what we're exactly wrong about and not this crap that we didn't say. Completely <laughs> upfront, too lazy to do so. Furthermore, the quotes that I want to change for the sake of criticisms that I still want to stick with is the dislike and like ratio. The reply you made is fair, but regardless, this is a Japanese cartoon and the content you're making is indeed what I am arguing about, not some Nazi shit that okay. mother... 
Mm-hmm. Um, you're talking about the content we're making is what you're arguing about. Then why are you going outside the content we make with by bringing up the like and dislike yeah. ratio? That has nothing to do with what we're saying. That has nothing to do with the content of the video itself. You're just using it to prove the point that our video is bad by looking at the like and dislike ratio. But our video is not bad. It's no, it's no better or worse than anything else we've done. It's just that it's a um, series that is beloved and we're talking bad about it. Yeah. And if you're going, it's just a Japanese anime and it's not this Nazi stuff, so it shouldn't be taken that serious. That's not that's not a very fair comparison because if that's the point, if that's the case, why if, are you if, making this video? Yeah, why are you making this video? We're just why? two bums talking about other bums making talking about Japanese cartoons. Why can people like stuff but not dislike stuff? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the main thing. People are so allowed to deep dive into why something is good or why they like something, and and the second you talk bad about it, it's just like, well, you're wrong. Thumbs down. You're an idiot. Yeah. Do you know how many times, dude? Go through the comments. We are so cordial to people as they sit there and call us idiots, retarded, dude, whole, autistic. Whole all these boy that you went back and forth with. I threw up my hands. It was like. That's all you. <laughs> Where almost every single one of his comments was like, you're so stupid. And then he would go into his point. Oh, you don't understand because you're dumb. And then you would go into his point. Do you know how many like, times? what are you doing? Yeah, we, got, we get that stuff all the time. And we're just so cordial in the comments. Yeah, people, we, people will come by and just be like, hey, you're stupid. And we're like, well, you, you're stupid and your points are bad. And we're like, well, could you explain why our points are bad? No, you're just stupid. Like, well, that doesn't help. Okay, see you in yeah, the next lifetime, I, I guess. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Not some Nazi shit that another big YouTuber has done. You are a small channel, and so am I. And to state that, most of the people disliking the videos don't watch it or barely watch it. Yes. They just see a negative yeah. response to something they like, thumbs it down, and move on is debatable. It's not debatable. So many people look at the um look at the the um the individual comments of something that is vastly thumbs down. Something compared, like the brilliance of golden wind. Mm-hmm, compared to how many co- uh, how many thumbs down we have. Yeah, it's a large ratio of people. Even Oceanus himself uh, did not watch the video, and he was just like, "Well, thumbs down." And and. We, we can't have a proportionate like to dislike ratio a- again because we can only see that people are disliking and not commenting. Mm-hmm. What does that what does that say? They dislike something about the video, but not enough that they are willing to comment on it. So we can only surmise that they disliked and peaced out. It's the only thing we can infer yeah. at this point. Now, we could absolutely be wrong. They could have watched every second of that video and just went, okay, no, thumbs down. But based on the way the internet and YouTube is, it's much more likely that they watch even two minutes and just went, nah, thumbs down. And two minutes is generous. They might have just been like, oh, they're talking bad about Ocean Man, thumbs down. Yeah, there was a comment that we had that was just like, hey, I watched eight minutes of this video and I couldn't do it no more. And then he wrote a comment. Mm-hmm. Now I can understand people doing that. Like, okay, this, these people dislike Hunter Hunter. And then we explain why we dislike Hunter Hunter in the first couple of minutes. And they go, okay, no, nah, I'm not watching this. Thumbs down. Peace out. Because they don't like Hunter Hunter. That's, th- that's all that we can assume. Mm-hmm. That's, that's all I'm saying. Creator named Chiaro made a video titled Hunter X Hunter has problems, which contained more negative aspects about the show overall. Did he have an abundant amount of dislikes? No. Do you know why? Why? Because half of the criticisms he makes for it is completely rational and contain criticisms. What about the other half? Yeah. And also, we get we get the hunter hunter people. They don't like it, and we also get the people that like Eye Patch Wolf and see that we're trashing on them, and so they dislike it that way. We get we get double that, and. I will put up a video, and within two minutes, we'll have three d- thumbs down. How am I to infer that they watched the entire thing and went, okay, now thumbs down? 
That's ridiculous. Yeah, we don't know. And and the the video homeboy did. We don't we don't know what his points were. You're just saying that he made rational points or whatever. We, I I'd like to see that as a matter of fact. But and um, how big is that channel? Because it could have just been his fans thumbing him up yeah. because you know it's his content. And then you know the people that would usually thumbs down that type of video thumbs it down. But his fans, his fan base, it. yeah, is so much more overwhelming that it went higher. Who knows? Actually watched the show. We did. Which was we absolutely did. We absolutely did. We made so many points. We can't make the points we made if we had never seen yes. any of the show. That makes no sense. The, okay. Uh, Revisit it is really limited because it has to be shows that we both watched and we both have roughly the same type of opinion yeah. on. So it's really hard to do a series that one of us likes and one of us dislikes. So we are only creating content of things that we have both watched and both believe yeah. the same thing about. And that's why I'm holding off on Naruto stuff until he watches the end of Naruto. I'm like, I'm not going to be sitting here with him going, oh, is that what happened? And then I have to explain it. He doesn't really have his thoughts formulated. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it on the spot with not all the information that's coming up later. Like, oh, Naruto and Sasuke are the reincarnations of blah, blah, blah. You go, well, that's stupid. Oh, but he doesn't know that also um, Hashirama and Madara are also the reincarnation. He doesn't know that part, which makes it double stupid. So he's not going to bring up those points. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't want to, because we talked about doing the um, a few Bleach videos. But I haven't watched, I haven't read the end of Bleach. And I do not want to do that content until I do because I don't have all the information that I need for the stuff that I want to do. Seemed as if he actually watched the show, which was containing a lot of respect from the fans of the series. Um, I'll also say this. Um, people are much more inclined to enjoy typical YouTube videos, mm -hmm. which is just edited, scripted content, yeah. as opposed to just firing off the cuff. As we uh, we bring them up again, Oceanus has said, uh, maybe I would have watched their videos if it was more like a typical YouTube video. And that's a lot of people's stuff. They don't like the style that we do. There have been people, so many people that have just been like, I don't like the way you're presenting this video. I'm not going to watch it anymore. Yeah. They don't like the style of revisiting. So again, there's there's various factors of why um, he could have gotten more thumbs up than thumbs down. Either way, it does not matter. Does it make our arguments lesser yes. or more wrong because more people liked his video? As you said, we're a super small channel. So when people look up Hunter Hunter Masterpiece and they see Revisit It, but it's actually a bad video about it, thumbs down and go to the video I actually wanted to go see. Yeah. Or if they see it in, if they see our video over there in the recommended and they go revisit it, oh, let's check this out. And they skip 30 minutes into the video and they go, oh man, this dude's a bum. He doesn't really understand this. What is he talking about? They go like, well, I like that video. And they dislike our video. Mm -hmm. We that's, have that's a, all. we have a double point against us. We have, we have the, so many points against us. We have the creators fans and the content <laughs> itself, the uh, series itself fans. So either one of them could be thumbing us down for any number of reasons. Now, maybe they absolutely do just agree, disagree with us and we're making a lot of bad points to them. They don't comment about it or they do and we respond to it. But maybe that is absolutely the truth. Maybe our content is not very good. That could absolutely be the truth. Yeah, you got a nerdy voice. They don't like our format. Um, Again, I say, I don't care. Yeah. I like us. this content and I want to do it. Yes, it's fun for <laughs> us. If other people find it fun, that's cool. If other people hate it, that's cool. If we get one like and a hundred dislikes, that's cool. Yeah. Whatever. Even I can respect him in such high regard. Okay. Um, I, I don't mean to sound me here. Um, just like you didn't mean to sound me with the whole voice thing. I don't care about your respect. Yeah. Um, that, no. How are we going to earn the respect of so many people? There, there's millions of people on YouTube. There's no way that we can get the respect of every single person. And it'd be foolish to aim for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. On top of that, first off, who are we? And second off, who are you? Yeah. We're not asking for your respect. 
come in, like the video, dislike the video, but listen to our points. That's did, that's my whole thing. Did listen we make to points and and enjoy it? Get some entertainment from it or no? Did we make good points? No. Okay, comment about it. You don't want to comment. You just want to thumbs down and leave. Okay, cool. At least you stuck around and hear the points. Yeah. Literally, all of it is completely unintelligible and seem the arguments that you made for the series are things you pulled right from your ass. Now I that's would over. love some examples. Mm -hmm. And we didn't pull it from our ass. We pulled it from our head, our memory, because we watched the show. Yeah. It, it'd be a lot better to give examples other than three slides of comments that go by in 0.5 seconds. <laughs> but here are the pros this channel hey, contains. Bros. Let me show you how to scratch it. Me. Come on. Me. <laughs> Nothing. Thumbs up and comment, you f <laughs> Although I have major problems with half of the revisit content you uploaded, I do like some of it. Specifically, this one, where the criticisms you mm, have- Okay, what? I wonder if this guy's black. Content you uploaded, I do like some of it. Ah, okay. I, I guess he just one messed where up, the criticisms maybe? you oh. have with him is a whole lot more logical and far more entertaining. No, it's not a... logical. Not really. He's illogical and it's hilarious. Dude, again, what we spent a good four minutes just talking about him moving his head. <laughs> we had a running joke of him the way he sips water. <laughs> That's not logical at all. That's just a great thing we have with them that's completely illogical. Drink how you want to drink. Whatever, dude. But it's just weird. Yo, that, that video was really good. <laughs> Swish, smack, smack. Dude, it was like a formula and it was perfect. Dude, one time you go, can we just go back? Because I love the trifecta of him clutching, oh, clutching his chest, swishing his hair back, and T-posing. <laughs> There's no logic there. We're just having a good time. That was the most good time we had because we love Phil. Uh, but we have a good time with literally everything. Even this horrendous part five video that's coming up in a little while. We had fun with it, but it wasn't the type of fun. It was like bad movie day comedy fun, which is just like lesser fun, but still fun. But yeah, I think he agrees with this one more because he agrees with the feel stuff. Yeah. Um, if, if you like it more, you're inclined to be like, yo, I get these points more. And you're just going to sit down and just listen to it and just go, yep, ha, 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 funny stuff. But if it's something like Hunter Hunter, which you have a vested interest in, you're going to be like, you're not going to be listening to it, ha, 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 let's hear out this point. You're like, no, I like Hunter Hunter. This is bad. Casual videos you put out. This is probably by far the best content you've produced because it revisits something that clearly makes sense to revisit on. Most that's a good point. That's that's something that yeah. needs to be revisited because he's he lies and so, so darn much. And even there's even more information to come out to just be like, no, Phil, you've told us yeah. more information, and now we know that you just big lie. And you put out that I specifically have no problem with, but are can do in a mixed bag. And on another hand, you got content made by do geeky black people trying to put out the videos through what they love, and I have nothing against that at all. Just because one person doesn't really admire the things you put out doesn't mean that it's an overall red traffic light towards what you admire making. To make countless videos that contain more than the average 45 minute mark gains my absolute respect for you to put out the absolute dedication towards what you enjoy doing as a content creator. It shows that you guys do enjoy making these videos and that I have your respect. To wrap things up, here is a little short summary for what I think about this channel. The channel is kind of repetitive, sometimes irritating, cringe most of the time, somewhat and funny, the majority of the reason. Like, yeah, repetitive is not a negative. Yeah, no. Um, this is our format. It's, we, we talk about a whole lot of different people in a whole lot of different points. And a whole lot of different series. Um, yeah. Um, cringe? How? In what way? I we we, if you don't like our jokes, that's that's really on you. I mean, your voice, factually terrible. Factually, <laughs> nothing we can really do about that. Um, yeah, you don't like the stuff that we're talking about. That's sorry. <laughs> Videos are completely irrational, and it just can't help. I disagree with the irrationality. Yeah, no. So, no. yeah, I don't agree with that. 
like it lost potential with some of the videos you put out that are potentially uncomprehensible. Oh, However, okay, okay. its original contains one of the best revisit videos I have ever seen on YouTube and the creators are obviously well dedicated to doing what they love. Although I may not like the videos they make, I have gained a lot of respect for them as content creators. Hell, you should go and subscribe to their channel. The link is in the yes, description. You yeah, you yes, you should. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. That's the exact same stuff my brother gave to Mulan. <laughs> uh, no, you shouldn't just go subscribe to No, it, definitely do. No, I'm, don't don't subscribe to it unless you like it. Unless you agree nope, with it. Do unless it. you want to see more. Nope, don't do it. Don't just give us a pity subscribe. Pity us. I need that. Pity us. No, get that garbage like out of Like being friends with somebody for 30 years and they're just like, I'll throw you one. <laughs> <laughs> You you out you on at home again on Saturday night. I'll just throw you one. <laughs> no, but for real, I, I I've never um understood people subscribing to somebody just because they say subscribe. Yeah. Um, the way YouTube's algorithm works is even if you don't subscribe to us, too many times we're gonna come up in your front page because you watched us before. Yeah. So and if you look up something like Hunter Hunter. We show up pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. I was looking up, um, I think it was um, Dragon Ball analysis. I was looking up blank analysis. It, it might have even been part five analysis. I think it was part five analysis or Golden Wind uh, analysis. And like the 23rd video was revisited. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, what the, like, we're going to pop up. Yeah, don't, don't just subscribe unless you like us, mm -hmm. unless you want to see more from us. Don't thumbs us up unless you genuinely think the content yeah, is good. No. Um, I'm, I'm not going to. There's too many videos that just out there the gate just go thumbs up, comment, subscribe. No, don't. I, I'd say comment most of all. Absolutely that, comment. that gives your point across. If you're just commenting and you go, um, you guys suck, I'd appreciate not having those because it doesn't tell us anything. Yeah. Um, it tells us we suck and we'll go, oh, uh, I guess we do. And that's just the end of the string. Um, I'd like to know why you think we suck. I like I've, I've always said this. I don't mind people saying negative things and about anything as long as you can articulate your point. Yeah. If you go, One Piece's art looks terrible, and I go, How? And they and you go, Look at these characters, and I go, Okay, that doesn't tell me the artist character. It just means you don't like the unconventional art style. No, the art. I, okay, I've lost you. you you're done. There's nothing there. Um, but if you can articulate why you think One Piece is terrible, I can't go, okay, well, whatever. You yeah. think it's terrible. Or if, even if you just say, I don't enjoy it, fine. What, what can I say to that? Um, yeah, just articulate your stuff if you're going to comment. Um, you... But there's some certain things where I'm just like, there are certain things where I don't know why I like it, but I just like it. Mm -hmm. Like, I will always bring this up. Mon Amande in, in One Piece. Don't know why I love her so much, but f in do. Well, She's amazing. Go. She's great. But if somebody came up to be like, yo, Monday sucks, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, I, my, my whole point would be like, but, but no, <laughs> with no real reason. But I'm not going to fight somebody about that because I'm not passionate enough and I don't have any real reasons why I like her. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wouldn't, if there was an Amande sucks video, I wouldn't be like, no, she doesn't suck. Because I couldn't, and it'd be like, why not? I'd be like, oh, uh, she had a big hat. It's like, well, that, that, that's not saying anything. So I wouldn't even comment on Amande sucks. Um, as far as positive comments, we um we appreciate them. I don't need them. But we're weird. We here. don't, yeah. I don't, I don't like being complimented. <laughs> I do. I really don't. I hate it. I, every there'll time. be times in my job, I'm like, King, you're doing a really good job. They don't get all subconscious. Like, what if I start doing a bad job now? When they take that back, oh, crap. So they're, now they're looking at me to do a good job. And if I don't do a good job, I don't need good comments. Well, people are like, them. keep them. <laughs> I love I love this series. I've watched all your stuff. This is great. I'm like, oh. How do I comment to that? I'm just like, hey, thanks, bud. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Glad you enjoy it. Yeah, I hate it. I can't. I can't deal with it. <laughs> I mean, again, I appreciate it, but yeah, I don't know how great, to. But it's like, oh, don't, don't. We're not worth watching everything. <laughs> Especially like people just like yo, I can't. I hopped up in here with the CV video, and then I went back and watched all y'all stuff. I'm like, yo, <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, this was just a special one. I'm gonna put this up ASAP. Um, next is we have um, part five. Part five which one is it though? 
I, I can't remember the title. Is it, the first one is going to be the um, the actual analysis uh, when we how get. how Iraqi presents fate in the Jojo theme of part fate five. in part five. Yep. So that's going to be the next video. The video after that is going to be um, anime every, wins. Everything great about Golden Wind. Um, that one's going to be a little special, and you'll you'll notice mm-hmm. when you see it. I might even put up episode twenty four before I even finish episode twenty three. Just, just so y'all know what we, what went, we through went through and what what I'm talking about. Uh, yep. Until next time, then. I hope people do more of these. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I guess we're not until next time, then. Um. I would love people to do do. I've our episode twenty, our original episode twenty. Somebody had made a re a quote unquote um analysis on Super Eye Patch Wolf's Bleach, Bleach video. So we're like, we're gonna revisit and revisit it. That would be great. It and then it be. turns out to just it just wasn't that. There's like ten minutes of the eye patch wolf stuff, even though it's smack dab in the in the freaking description. So I, I figured, oh, that's what this video is gonna be about. But it's not. It's mostly analysis of arc by arc by arc by arc. So we had to just Peace pull out. the lever on that one. And we got spit out of it. So some positive, some negative. <laughs> Because that boy was a long one. Over 12 hours, I think we did. It's a chunky boy. So, yeah. uh, I would love for more stuff like this. Um, Yep. So, really, until next time.